And so we've got, let's see, when Kim was young, she would have a dream where she would float down the stairs of her house around the first floor. She'd wake up and she'd be, she claimed she'd be floating up by the ceiling and fall back down on her bed. She said it felt very real when she woke up and that she was right by the ceiling of her room. That is a perfect kind of spooky story, right? It's like, it's unexplained. It's kind of unsettling and eerie, but it's not like, you know, I saw a skeleton in my toilet, you know? <laughs> it's, not, it's not something where like, I, I, I looked in the mirror and there was a, a fiend with no face and he bit me or something like, like really intense like that. It's like, okay, I had this dream of floating and when I woke up, I felt like I was floating. I had, um, okay, so a beloved object is Blanky Bear, which was made from a, her, her baby blanket and was turned into a bear by her mom when she was a little older. Oh man. Okay, so we've got float, dreaming of floating. and waking and floating. So like what I'm thinking here is like if anybody's ever stayed in one of those hotels where they take the, um, what? They'll take like, like uh, some kind of cloth, some kind of towel and they'll fold it up into like a little elephant on the bed for you kind of thing. Like it's like that. You fold the cloth up into like this bear configuration and then it will grant you flight magic. And I'm going to shade in the bird here. First object we made was the buoyant blanket. So this was somebody who had a spooky story about waking up feeling like they were floating and they had a baby blanket that was turned into a teddy bear. So I combined these ideas into this thing called the buoyant blanket. This cloth was once the cloak of a proud monarch of Demon's Deep. And then there's the monarch, it was a uh, falcon. Um, his house's symbol was the bear. After his fall during a battle with the mineral dragons, his body was laid to rest in a crypt near the shores of the deep. But the cloak vanished, presumably by way of grave robbers. If you fold the cloth into the form of a bear, it will grant you flight magic. But beware, it will always try to take you to the crypt. And what happens when you get to the crypt? Oh my gosh. 